is, is the role of data changing your business model? And, and share with folks out there that business model, because you brought that up. I mean, data, you're getting more data with mobility, web access, you're learning more about your customers in real time. Mm -hmm. How does that affect the business model and products that you offer? You know, it's a, it's a great question. I, um, I talk about uh, the emerging business models and the concept of what I call data factories. That I think we are witnessing uh, the next industrial revolution uh, is going to be fueled by data and it's going to be bigger than the last industrial revolution because finally technology has democratized not just the access of data to a plethora of new uh, companies but also the ability to uh, store, mine, clean, analyze and produce um, data products that can solve problems we could not have solved before. So these data factories are going to emerge um, as the, the, the new drivers of innovation of a massive revolution that will change fundamentally how business models today extract value. Because data is going to be the core asset, is the core asset for a multi, for multitude of industries. And the ability to automate the data pipeline and then uh, rapidly find information in it to make decisions uh, that benefit um, our end customers how's is going that, to be of immense value. How's that changing the software development? Because you brought up a lot of things that, I, that just popped in my head. Like think about AI and uh, AI, for example, old school AI. If you, right. you know, studied AI, it's like, hey, you know, like some academic thing. But what you're really talking about is leveraging essentially quantitative type principles with programming that requires reasoning. I mean, mm -hmm. new kinds of approaches. Are you seeing any kind of um, new software environments or mindsets out there? I mean, obviously, you guys are in that analytic business. You got to think like quant jocks and also think about being, being a developer. Absolutely, in fact, I think the interesting part is that wherever technology has adopted the core principles of pushing the code to the data rather than the other way around, because your network will always be the bottleneck, you see some massive, massive game changing technology. Explain that, explain that notion, pushing code to the data versus. So the, the whole concept of big data is big, right, by, by its very definition. It's massive amounts of data. So if I've, if I've got petabytes of data sitting on an infrastructure, on a platform, Rather than move the data to where I analyze it or do analytics on it, I need, to, I need the ability, which is what Hadoop does, I need the ability to push the code to the data because your pipes are limited. The network is the bottleneck. So moving a petabyte of data to a 10 gig <laughs> network <laughs> takes time. <laughs> moving a few megabytes of code to petabytes of data is a massive change. And wherever you see technology being employed across what I called the data factory stack with similar principles, commodity hardware massively parallel, moving small bits across the networks, you see emerging technology that's, that's yeah, truly yeah. interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So